So 2021, a new year and a year in which many of you will be taking on new leadership roles. Now, you'll also be aware of what the statistics show, that at the senior level, success rate can be as low as one out of two. So how can you ensure that you're going to swim and not sink in your new role, the role that you've always dreamed about? Well, I've done extensive research in this area, looking at what differentiates the behavior between those who thrive versus those who just survive. So let's get straight into it. The first thing that swimmers do is that they clarify. To the two key questions, what needs done and why me, they're able to give a compelling answer. And why do I bring that up? Because so few of the people that I meet can do so. And without that, you lack a bit of direction. The second thing that swimmers do is that they renew. They know intuitively that what got them here will not necessarily get them there. It's about refreshing your definition of success. It cannot be the same that when you were a functional leader as now when you're an enterprise leader or managing one country or managing multiple. Often it's about getting results through people. So you need to change. And a good place to look is your answers to those clarification questions. The third thing they do is that they embody. They recognize that the biggest asset they have and liability if they don't use it right is the shadow that they project. It's about personifying the change you want to see. So if your change is all about innovation, or maybe your decision making, you want to make it less political, then you need to personify that behavior. And when you see it in others, you need to celebrate it. The final thing that they do is that they calibrate. Successful people pursue long-term goals. It's not about a quick win. So they look back at the clarification question, what needed done, and they assess, how did I do? Did I do well? Where did I do less well? So the, the feedback loop is complete. And once that's done, they start again. They ask themselves, what needs done now going forward? And am I still the best person to do it? So it's 2021. If you want to give yourself the best chance of success in your new leadership role, why not do what hundreds of other leaders have done? and test yourself, test your readiness. Take the leadership readiness scorecard. It takes about 10 minutes and you'll get many more insights than I've been able to communicate in this short video. And remember, as a leader, it's much more fun to swim.